Now you started the uh, Robo LDK mm -hmm. uh, project in Kanagawa. Yeah, so that is a great opportunity to know that what is a good service in the uh, living or dining or uh, mm -hmm. any other place in the uh, human human beings. Yeah. Could you explain a little bit about that history and uh, the competition? Uh, yeah. Because I think people outside of mm -hmm. Japan have no idea. Yeah, Robo LDK means a robot plus living dining kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that naming is coming from uh, so robot lives with human. Mm. So what service is needed in a house? The participants mm. show the scenario with robot and the situation. Mm. So we can know e very easily uh, mm. through the play. Mm -hmm. So participants show the uh, robot going going from uh, another side and uh, yeah. so. That robot service something, mm. and we can see that uh, mm, this is a good service or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, had the four times to show mm. that the dance, uh, mm. play something like that. Mm. So we can know that what is a good service for the uh, mm. people in life. Mm. Mm. Is there something special about Kanagawa Prefecture? Because it seems like a lot of the robot builders and people involved in robots live in that uh, area. Yeah, exactly. So, Kanaga Prefecture has many factories mm. to build up uh, such a mortars, mm. uh, metal, metal punching or something. Mm. 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 So they they have a basement to mm. make the robots. Mm. Yeah. So uh, they encourage to make a robot. Mm. The making year is a 2002, I think. Oh, okay. Because yeah. in the 2002, uh, Honda Ashimo is started to rent. Oh to Mirai uh, uh. So it is a meaning that uh, robot business started. Ah, okay. And uh, secondly, mm. secondly, Robocop human degree was started mm. in 2002. Mm. Mm. So uh, it was a very small robot like this. Right. And the third is Robo1. Uh. So Robo1 is started from Mirai also. Right. And uh, we organized Robo1 for the hobbies to, to build up the human mm. robot. Mm, mm, mm. So all of them I concerned with to <laughs> organize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're a big supporter for all yeah, those initiatives. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> okay, well I think so. Yeah. I think so. And also my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So after Maraikan you continued uh, Yeah, I moved to another company mm. uh, to to make a robot. Mm. Now in during the uh, Making robot. Mm. Some of our, uh, some of clients want to know the how to use a robot. Mm. So I wanted to make a school or a teaching system mm. for the mm. ordinary people mm. how mm. to use a robot, mm. how to make a robot, mm. something like that. Mm. So I led the company mm. to teaching a robot and how to build up the robot. Mm. And uh, another thing is, uh, we want to supply the service robot mm. for all over the world in the. Mm. Decade. So mm -hmm. in 2005 you started mm -hmm. yeah. RT. That was a huge step, yeah. huge risk. And uh, how did how did you have the confidence to start a company like that, especially oh. especially as uh, a woman in Japan? Ah, uh, in Japan, uh, women is very less people to raise a company. Huh. Yeah. But I, I, I have no hesitation to. Laser company <laughs> because uh, there is no company to service such a way in uh, robotics. Mm. And uh, my company named RT mm. is derived from uh, robot technology. Mm. At that time, uh, we don't say uh, robot technology as RT, mm. Mm -hmm. but now uh, we say uh, RT meaning robot technology. Uh, it's like uh, IT. Was it mm. difficult, uh, 2005, 2006, mm. in the early days to get the uh, company started? At that time, a human and robot uh, of a uh, small one, mm. and a human and robot for hobbies to is a good, uh, make a ma made good market to mm. sell. Mm. So it is not uh, easy to sell, but uh, many hobbies bought bought mm. the robot. Mm. So it is good. Uh, what is the mm. typical robot uh, buyer, uh, customer, who, who's interested in Japan? Yeah, in Japan, in Japan uh, all those people with men and uh, aged 30s, 40s, mm. yeah, mm. mainly. Mm. 
and uh, some of uh, their wife tried mm. to use a robot. Mm. Mm. It's very interesting. Mm. And uh, husband made a robot mm. and a uh, maintenance mm. and uses his wife. Mm. The wife uh, requests to the husband uh, please make a dismotion or something. Mm. And uh, if both of them fight against each other, <laughs> <laughs> wife is stronger than husband. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Husband is usually more otaku and think, <laughs> yeah, thinking yeah. too much, and the woman is more emotional and takes yeah, action. Yeah. So. And he loves to make a robot and uh, to make a, a motion. Uh. No interest in to how to fight. Or actually do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually do. So. But the wife loves to how to use. Uh -huh. How to fight. <laughs> uh -huh. it's so, very interesting. so together they make a mm -hmm. great combination. Yeah. So that's true for uh, humanoid robots, mm -hmm. but uh, how about the uh, micro mouse or other uh, robots? robots? Yeah. Same? Or? Uh, it's very different from the humanoid and the micro mouse. Mm -hmm. Micro mouse is a small system. Mm -hmm. So micro mouse has everything inside of the robot. Mm -hmm. uh, Electricity, uh, electronics, mm. PCB, and the mechanical system, mm. AI, mm. Uh, sensing system, mm. and uh, uh, control the motors. Mm. So you can make the all in one. Mm -hmm. mm. So Micromass user uh, loves to make itself everything by themselves. Mm. 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 Therefore, Japanese Micromass is very unique. Mm. And uh, we can see the farm, mm. very small or very thin or a uh, big one, mm. cute one. Mm -hmm. We can see the many micro mm -hmm. And they also fighting against the uh, time attack, mm. but they fight against the uh, past of themselves, uh, not other people. How to improve their own performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. So human and robot players uh, fight against another people. Right. But the micro mass people fight against them themselves. Themselves. To improve yeah, them yeah. themselves. That's uh almost right. Yeah. yeah, it's completely different from completely uh, different. Western view. Yeah. Do you think that has something to do with the fact that micro mouse has been so successful in Japan and yeah, not yeah. Uh, in the US or Europe? Uh, in Japan, uh, we love to make the precise things. Mm. So micro mass is uh, very good for the mm. uh, characteristics. Mm -hmm. Very small, very fast, mm. and very intelligent. Mm. And also, uh, we fight against uh, myself. Mm. 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 So everything is good for Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, mm. Micro Master uh, gave the knowledge how to make the robot and how to uh, make the system. Sure. So if the student run the micro mouse once again uh, mm. in a student group mm. and they graduated school mm. and they entered the company, mm. the company and they encouraged to make a, such an embedded system. Mm. And mm. they growing up, growing up. So they are leader of the embedded systems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think it encourages that the uh, system mm. to growing up the micro mouse, I think. Mm.